that's the forest preserve that uh, backs up to my house. I think I've got my coworker Karina in front of me. Okay, so I'm almost to work. I'm gonna pull straight into the service drive and get my oil changed and my tires rotated. I'll see you inside. All right, so I'm at work. I'm gonna get to work. I got a buddy that owes me lunch. Uh, I did a favor for him, basically. Um, just helped him out, we worked together. Um, but I said, hey man, instead of buying me lunch, there's this really cool, it's so stupid, but there's this really cool toy I saw uh, at Walgreens when I was there last night with my kid, she's sick. So I said, instead of buying me lunch, just go to Walgreens and buy this toy. And I'll show you what it is right now. So that's that's the, the toy. I don't know why I want it, but so if it sucks, you're only out six bucks. Now, for me, in this case, he said he was going to buy me lunch. I said, don't do that, just get this. So, fingers crossed that he picks it up today on his lunch break. I'll show it to you. We'll probably try and drive around here as long as he remembers to get batteries. Otherwise, I'll show it to you at home. Con fritters, bacalaitos, we got acapulos, we got tostones, fresh bread, the whole nine yards. 31 Rams, baby. All right, guys, Brian came in in the clutch today. He left work at 3. I'm leaving at 4.30. It's 4.40 right now. I've been waiting for him. He went to Walgreens, but he went to the wrong Walgreens. I told him where it was, told him where to find it. He went to the wrong one, and I didn't know that at first because I'm sitting at work, and he's texting me, and he's sending me pictures. I'm like, bro, it's in the toy aisle. How do you not see it? There's two toy aisles. One is by the pharmacy. I don't even know why it's a toy. Now I'm getting pissed because for some reason it's a $6 toy, but now I really want it. All right, guys, let me grab it. I got the window down. I was talking to him. Here it is. It's in the bag. I'm trying to focus on driving. You'll see it once I get home. I almost stalled it there. I almost stalled my car, but I'm just super stoked to mess around with it. I'm actually kind of curious to see how well it performs. I thought of the great idea of putting a GoPro on the thing, so um, hopefully it can actually work with the GoPro on it and it doesn't throw off the balance too much. But as you can see, I'm stuck in some major traffic. Check this out. So here it is. Got some batteries for it. I'm not sure if this is enough batteries. Let's see. I know it's sideways, but I need four AA and like a nine volt. So I think I have a nine volt. I wish Brian would have checked. We're gonna eat dinner. I got batteries in the car. Now one weird thing is, look at the, oh that one's not moving. It kind of wiggles weird and they got this weird control in the middle. This is really hard to control. So I just got done messing around with the RC car uh, downstairs. Uh, super fun to drive, kind of difficult to control, but it's still cool. Um, but I'm gonna just relax, end it here, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like, all that fun stuff. It's definitely much appreciated. I'll see you guys later.